Hey guys, hey guys, welcome to another amazing simple tutorial. If you have a video that you want to download and it's hosted on Vimeo, this is how you can do it. You probably want to download the video and then sometimes you want to get the caption as well. Look at this video right here. You have caption and you can put English caption on it. So if we play the video, they give you a thousand dollars. You can see that we have caption and we can turn the caption off but when we download the video we don't get the caption so i'm going to show you how to get the video and the caption really simple once you play the video it means it's active you can right click it inspect and you get a text like this you don't need to be a computer hacker to understand this because this tutorial is going to be super simple all you need to do is go down to script and in the script the I'm using Chrome browser by the way to demonstrate this on a PC so now we see the sizes of the videos this is full HD video right here 1920 and this is uh, 1280 this is the width of the video so if I wanted to get the, the 920 full HD video I would get this link right here starting right here and ending with mp4 so when I'm copying the text from this, I'll double click the text like that. Then at the 1080p, I'll double click again to get the selection going. And then I'll copy the, the link from there all the way down to here. Okay, ending with the MP4. If you have something behind the MP4, like uh, equals source one or something, skip that part only go to the dot mp4 here okay copy it with a control C go back to the browser open a new tab paste it in there and press enter now the video is playing full HD right here because that's the link that we selected we can go to download but we're not gonna wait for five minutes for it to download so we'll just pause it and I'll show you that I've already downloaded the video right here Master your mind, MP4, MP4. It's a uh, 1.1 gigabytes, full HD. I'm going to delete this for the tutorial sake because we're going to get this subtitle file, and I'm going to show you how. For the tutorial, we'll close the inspection uh, window again. Now we're back on the original page. Oh, sorry, we're back on the original page where the video is with the caption. And we've Always already count. and we've already played the video, so it's active. Right click it again, inspect. We get the same script. Don't go into the script. Remember, we opened the script. Don't do that now. Now you're going to do Control F, which means search, and we're going to search for VTT. VTT is the ending for the text file that Vimeo uses to display subtitles now the first link that we get here it is a longer link than that you see the three dots right here meaning you can see it when I hover the mouse over it the whole link but don't worry about that just right click the link and open it in a new tab you get all this text right here so simply activate the window by clicking it once then press Control A which means select all text and you just do the same for a Mac if you're using a Mac. Um, then that would not be Control A, it would be Apple A or something. And um, once I've copied the text, I will open up a simple text editor, like Notepad in uh, PC. And I can't remember what it's called in Mac, uh, probably like uh, uh, text something, whatever paste the text in there oh oh good you guys are seeing me making mistakes i'm gonna go Control c for undo i didn't copy it so copy the text or Control c then go into the to the text editor go on top of the the page with all the text and there's only two simple changes you need to make you need to delete this first name right here, VTT, like that, 
and then we need to replace all the dots for the time code and replace the dots with a comma and we do that by edit replace we're going to find a dot and we're going to replace it with a comma replace all and that's it guys now you can save the file save as make sure you're saving it in the same uh, folder that you downloaded the video for to change the save as type to all files then you can see the video file that you already saved click it once to get the name down here to make sure we name it the same name now just put SRT right here that's it and make sure the encoding is UTF-8 save now we can close everything uh, exit exit see okay now we have in a download folder we have the video file and the subtitle file if I double click the video now and play it in VLC they give you a thousand dollars cash check that out a guys MacBook Pro and one right see that guys now we have subtitle and you can right click your player and go to subtitle and disable it if you don't want it but now you have it enable it play at home so I decided to alright guys I hope you enjoyed this super simple tutorial remember if you can watch the video in the browser you can download it so if you have any problems comment on the video remember to like share and whatever you know uh, subscribe and have a, an amazing day guys thanks for watching